We've been seeing a lot of developments uh, on the front of the hunt for a COVID-19 vaccine. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has embarked on a three-city tour to take stock of the vaccine development work. Prime Minister Modi has reached Ahmedabad. He's visiting the Zydus Research Centre in Changodar. Now, Prime Minister is reviewing the drug maker's COVID vaccine candidate, Zykov D. Remember that Zykov D has completed its phase one and phase two clinical trials. From Ahmedabad, Prime Minister Modi is expected to travel to Hyderabad and visit the Bharat Biotech firm, where, which is, of course, working on Covaxin, which is India's first indigenous vaccine candidate. Later in the evening, Prime Minister will visit Pune-based Serum Institute of India, which has partnered with global pharma giant AstraZeneca and the Oxford University for a vaccine called Covishield. Prime Minister Modi will also speak to Serum Institute of India's chief executive, Adar Punawala, and his family members, along with scientists at Serum Institute, and review Covishield vaccine's production and distribution mechanism. The focus of this particular visit of the Prime Minister is to essentially get a first-hand perspective of really uh, how far we've progressed in the hunt for COVID-19 vaccine. So phase three trials, phase one and phase two are completed. So it's at a critical juncture that the Prime Minister has chosen to visit this particular facility. Important to also highlight here that phase three uh, of this particular trial of the vaccine will entail having 30,000 candidates, 30,000 patients will be a part of phase three trials. Uh, the Zykov D vaccine, we've seen a lot of developments and positive developments because there's been really no negative side effect uh, or no complications that have emerged as far as the trials for this vaccine candidate is concerned. But it has been slightly delayed when you compare, for example, what's happening with Covaxin or, for that matter, Covishield, which is being developed by AstraZeneca and Oxford University in a tie-up with Serum Institute of India for us. But uh, Zykov D, as far as the phase three trials are concerned, will begin perhaps in uh, just a few weeks. In December is what authorities have told us, which means that they're looking and aiming at the phase three trials itself to be completed by maybe March or April. So that will take a bit more time. Uh, the Prime Minister will aim to essentially get a sense of what are the challenges, uh, how far they've reached in the development of the vaccine, and very importantly, the distribution plan. The Prime Minister will look to perhaps develop a more concrete plan once he speaks to the scientists on the ground who are focused right now on developing this vaccine.